Question 1. What is Urdhavrita Pranayam? Answer. While doing Sukhapurvaka or Lomaviloma Pranayam, one would feel that the virya is flowing up towards the Sesarara at the crown of the head in the form of odors. This is Urdhavreta Pranayam. Question 2. If I try to keep the ratio 1, 4, 2 when I practice Pranayam, I am not able to concentrate on my Ishta Devta. If I try to concentrate, I cannot keep up the ratio 1, 4, 2. Kindly advise what to do. Answer. Try to keep the ratio for 2 or 3 months. A strong habit will be formed and the ratio will be kept up automatically. Then you can concentrate on your tutelary deity. Mind can do only one thing at a time. Question 3. What is the object of inhaling through the left nostril and exhaling through the right nostril and vice versa? Answer. This will make the breath rhythmical. Steady the nerves and the mind and allow the Sushumna Nadi to flow which will be beneficial for meditation. It will keep up a perfect harmony in the system. The five forsas will vibrate rhythmically. Question 4. Can there be any dangerous result in the practice of pranayam as some people think? Answer. There is no danger in practicing pranayam, asnas, etc. If you are careful, and if you use your common sense, people are unnecessarily alarmed. There is danger in everything, if you are careless. Question 5. I am regular in my sadhanansa. The jerks still continue though they are not so frequent as before. Kindly advise me on the matter. Answer. Through the practice of pranayam and meditation. The cells and tissues are vivified. They are charged with new pranansa. New pranic currents are generated. These give rise to jerks in the beginning. They will disappear soon.